Hey guys, hope you're well. By the time you see this, it's going to be Black Friday and it feels weird because I don't have any money. I literally spent 36 pounds on magazines. I have no money left, I have no money left. It feels weird because in a sense I'm like, yeah, I'm not participating in Black Friday. Talk over conception, but I'm not participating because I don't have money. If I had money, I'm like, no, I'm not participating, then that would feel good. But I'm just like in the, this weird sense. I don't know. I don't know. I have to say, I have to stop saying like, no, as if I'm in H2. I have to stop. I have some weird habits that I'm doing that are just taking over my life and I, I need to like, take my take ownership take control of my life okay so you know christmas is coming and i want to do kind of like a wish list or also like revisiting my pinterest wish list or so that i like just fashion trends that i've seen to be honest i don't really celebrate christmas because my mom always told me like especially in my teens she's like never wait until christmas for you like for you to tell me that you want something if on literally like June 2nd, you're like, I want a Nintendo Switch. My mom's gonna be honest with me. She's like, you know what? I do have money for a Nintendo Switch. Let's go. Let's go to the store. Or she's gonna be like, you know what? I don't really have money right now, but let me save some money on this side. And then in three months, ask me again if you still want it. And it was like that. So I really appreciate her for being honest with me. So that's why like for Christmas, I never really had anything, especially in my teen years. And I was fine with it, really. I, I really didn't care. My dad would always say, do you want pajamas? Do you want like socks? I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm really fun. I, I prioritize food. I do have some kind of Christmas wish list or just like a, a wish list for 2024. And then I'll revisit what I went through my Pinterest. Okay. The first one being, and this is at the top of my list. It's some kind of action camera. And I preferably want the DJI Osmo camera. I think having a small action camera, even though like you're not like all about like biking and like motorcycling and all that stuff, I do want camera when I'm uh, just wandering in the city, like just doing mini vlog. I know I could use my phone, but I have so many pictures. That means that every time I go home, I would have to go through the pictures I, and videos that I took today and see, oh, this one is like for my YouTube or this is just like for friends or, and, it just gets really overwhelming. By the way, I do have to do a big, I just have to like go through my camera roll for the entire year because I took a lot of pictures. And then also when you have a small camera, it's like less invasive as your phone because you're going with friends and you're like, you know what, like let me just film a bit of the moment. It's a small camera. Like it's, it's like, ooh. Whereas this is like, and I said, yeah, I just think it would be like a great, especially like um, for the holidays, I might go back home. So just having a small camera would just be amazing. But like they're like 300 pounds and I don't have 300 pounds to spend like that. Maybe I could send the video to my mom and be like, hey. Oh, actually no, because Canada, the prices are absurd. Best to buy them here in the UK. Oh, I don't know. The second item is a pair of Converse. But tell me, like, let me just tell, let's just, I love Converse. I feel like I've told over and over and over and over again that I grew up with Converse. I am a Converse stan. I will rock Converse till the day I die, obviously. I do love my original black and white pair, but I need a pair of white sneakers. I have these white sneakers that I bought from H&M because I needed like a quick get me out of situation sneakers. I have them, but like they're very light. And I do feel like sometimes I curl my toes because they're a bit too small. So I don't know. Especially when I'm wearing thick socks. So I want covers in white. Here's the thing. Covers has two kind of white sneakers. They have the original white sneakers with the blue and red lines. Or they have a full on white monochrome pair. And I do think I want to lean more into the white monochrome pair because it's like full on white. But then the white with the red and blue stripe lines are they're more casual. But I don't want the red and blue line to like mess up my entire outfit, you know? It was the third item, but then I look looking into it, I'm like, I don't need, I don't want it. And it was the a pair of gold shoes, gold sneakers, because I am a gold girl, as you can see. I don't know, like gold or silver debate, I, I feel like okay. If I'm gonna wear gold, I'm gonna wear gold. That's it. Now, for some reason, silver shoes look way better than gold shoes. For some reason, gold shoes kind of seem tacky. And it's a bit scary. Now, I saw Onitsuka Tiger doing gold shoes. I was like, ooh, they're good. But then again, I'm really just following a trend because uh, like, if I have an all black look and I want like a puff of gold, I don't want it. So this is just gold sneakers. I don't want it anymore. No. Which now it makes me think, do I want like a red shoe or 
I don't know, I feel like having a colorful shoe could be also a good thing, but then I'm not in a hurry. So I just have nice colors. I don't know, like I'm a grown up. I know my mom was like, oh, if you need anything, I can buy you, just tell me. But I'm at the stage where I'm grown up. Like I'm full on 21 years old. This woman could say, um, you're a grown ass person, buy yourself your own stuff, which ouch. But then again, I'm like my mom's daughter. So she could buy me something. And then again, if I find myself buying a new pair of Converse, my dad's gonna be like, um, what do you have? New shoes. You already have shoes. Like, sir, do you not tell me what I can and cannot buy? Because it's not it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Oh, I'm just like, it's like just a struggle. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm in, I'm not in a hurry, but I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm in a hurry, but ideally, it would be good to have those things now. And it really does feel weird that I'm not participating in Black Friday. It is fun. And here's the thing, here in the UK, they're not as crazy as North America. I'm not talking about the US. US is chaotic as always, every day. But Canada, you just go on a Black Friday, the mall is packed. There's everyone in the mall, but people are respectful. That's the thing, that's what's making us different from Americans. We're respectful, we'll queue. Okay, we'll queue outside of the store, just to get in, just to get the best deals. And here's, it's so funny because it's like kind of cold outside, so everyone has their winter coats and then when they're at the mall, everyone's taking off their winter coats because it's too hot inside. Ugh, I just miss Black Friday culture in Canada, ugh. Even if you're not buying anything, you're just going through for friends after school, just going. I would always go with my mom because why not, like see the best deals. Best time to buy a new coat, winter coat, so ugh, it just doesn't hit the same anymore. Oh, oh well, it's fine. I, I, there's nothing I can do, like unless manifesting more money. <laughs> but like there's nothing I can do. I, I have I, I have to sit this one out. Well, okay. Now let's go through my Pinterest. When you first go through a Pinterest, it kind of shows what who you are as a person. So I'm I'm just going to like show you what my Pinterest board is about. As you can see, it's like London, corporate, cool girl. Okay, well, that's about what you need to know about me. Let's go through my fashion wish list inspiration for 2023. And what do I want? What do I not want? What did I get? What did I not like, get for 2023? And then see what I want for 2024. Uh, let's start with my general wish list. Then I must screw it out. I don't want it anymore. I don't want it. It's impractical. No, I still want a red leather jacket, but I don't think right now it's the season that I need it. And then you could be like, well, it's not that cold in the UK. I do understand, but I'm going back home in Canada or it's like minus 30, minus 40. I, I can't rock this shit. There's not right weather for this to rock in Canada. No, maybe in early spring, I'll probably purchase something like that. I'm still looking for a pair of boots with small heels. It's so funny because one of my coworker was telling me, um, you work in fashion, you should, you, you could like learn how to walk in heels. And I told her, I was like, mm, no. I do understand your point, but no, I don't want it. Let me have a small heel, yeah. But I do get her point and I should learn how to walk in heels. But so this is still on my, on my wish list. Denim coats out, why, why? I was just following a trend, out, 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 out. A work assemble, I don't have it yet, but I'm like not in a hurry. Maybe once I graduate. I know the New Balance uh, sneakers were popular. I don't want it. No, out. I do want some satin silk pajamas, but it's not my priority, so that can wait in 2024. I did I put denim jackets? Uh, I do have a denim jacket, but I do think a dark denim could be beneficial, but it's not a priority, so that could be in 2024. Baggy shorts, I do. So. In the summer, I did buy two baggy shorts and it was great, it was fun. And even like for fall, you could just layer, have tights. By the way, I should have tights, like thicker tights. That could be a good idea to buy for winter. I do have stripes, trousers like those. And I got them at Suzy Lola's pop-up shop in June? June or July or August, I don't know, in, in the summer. They're, they're great, they're comfortable. I'm so happy. Uh, I don't want cargo pants out. Oh, no, it, it, it is like on my wish list. And it's those duffel bags, especially the partial ones. They're really stylish, really cool. Because I want to travel more in 2024. Like, you know, just for the weekend, just for two days, three days. Let's go on to the luxury side. Ah, I can't wait. So for my luxury wish list, I still want the sling bag pump from Prada. But here's the thing, Prada has this big ass triangle at the top of the shoe and I want something minimal so I don't know if I want specifically those shoes or 
another type of shoes that has that similar style. But there are still beautiful colors. I still think uh, kitten heels in general are very essential for women to wear. And like, you know, work. I'm not wearing high heels. Uh uh. I need to be comfortable all day, every day. Kitten heels are the way to go. The Hermes belt. Kelly belt. I don't I do understand, but I did buy from H&M thin belts and they do resemble the style, so I'm fine with this. I, it's it's good, it's all great. The Breaking bag. Ugh. I do see the appeal, but I don't want it. I really do, I, I it's not I if someone were to offer me a break and I'd be like, yeah, sure, why not? But I don't think it's the type of bag that I want in my lifetime. I would be fine if I didn't have a break in my lifetime. It's fine. It's okay. I think I've said here on this channel that Goyard and the bag like are my go to, like this is my dream bag. A lot of women here in London have that Goyard bag, and it's called the Sanri bag. First of all, there's no zip, so this is a tote bag. I don't want a tote bag for work. No, I don't want it. I don't. How come there's no zip? No. And also, it's not structured, so you have to put a bag organizer. But I'm, I'm not too bothered with the bag organizer situation. It's the fact that there's no zip. So people are just rocking, having their computers on with no zip? No. <laughs> no. No, I can't. So the great alternative to the Sunry bag is the Artois. From what I'm seeing, it's more structured, but I, I think you still need a bag organizer. And there's a zip. Artois bag is so underrated. It really is. It is a beautiful bag. Goya have beautiful, beautiful bags. By the time I graduate, I better have enough money saved for a Goya bag. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it. It might seem rock a Goya bag. And speaking of a Goya, I was going through their website. You, it's like the same vibe as going through the real estate website and just looking at the most expensive houses. And I'm like, yeah, I could live here. I could put the sofa here and put the desk here. You know, it's like the same vibe. Okay, so I was going through Goya's site. I don't know why Sanui is more popular because they have beautiful bags. The first one being the Belvedere bag. It's a great crossbody bag. And I think as I'm growing older, I do think that a crossbody bag is essential. It's if you're going out with friends and you know going to the city, having a little brunch. And here's the thing with Goya. Goya has amazing colors. If it's going to be blue, it's going to be blue. If it's going to be red, it's going to be red. If it's going to be orange, it's going to be orange. This is the type of bag that I want to have. And also, I remember watching a video by, I think it was Lainey Ozark saying that something that makes someone stylish is if they have a basic outfit and they have a bag that is like a pop of color. I want to be that girl. I want to be that girl. I want to have style. I want to show people that I have style. So I do think blue because blue is one of my favorite color. But I think the red one was like a close second. And the white, the white is very white. I, I don't think I could do white. Also, another red color is the gray one. The gray is a beautiful color. Beautiful. I, I don't know how they're doing this, but beautiful colors. Okay, so I was still going through the website and there was my dream bag. And here's the thing. Every woman has to have their go-to bag. I think it's a bit difficult for me because I'm going to uni, I have like a, a part-time job, so I have different bags. But like my everyday bag, like I'm going to the grocery bag, I'm going going out with my friend's bag, I'm going to the museum bag. I don't have it. I don't have it yet. I do have this bag, which is a H&M bag. And you know, it gets the job done, but it's not the bag that I want. Like I'm, it's not everything that I need. It's too small. Like this is more like, I'm going to a cafe for like five minutes and then I'm going back home. I need proper bag. And I saw the bag, it was love at first sight. And that is the Buen Boo bag. I know I'm talking always about structure bags and like this, but I think this bag is the everyday bag. I think it is. Another potential could be the Belchas Beaud bag, but that is too like grown woman. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm in my 20s, rock and roll, you know? When it comes to colors, they do have beautiful colors, but I would think for everyday bag, I have to play it safe. Now, here's the thing, the black bag is not pretty, and the black and tan one is horrible, no offense. So I think I would go either go with the navy one, navy blue one, or the gray one, which is a bit out there, but I think just to play it safe, I would have the navy blue one. And I think the last item that is like on my Pinterest wish list is any red bag. I don't think red can be a good color to have. I'm not saying this, only because red is trending right now because it's fall, you know, winter, red, 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 red. I'm currently looking at my bag collection. It's everything is black except one bag, one brown bag, and this tote bag that is blue and red. And the main bags that I was looking through, 
There's this Jacquemus bag. It does look very small, but just that pop of red is beautiful. You know, you have an all black look and pow, the red is just popping. That's the type of bag I need. And then there's the Gucci bag. But I feel like this, I feel like Gucci loves to do a bur red burgundy or red wine bag, especially with the new creative director. But I, I do want a, a, a bit, like a good like red. And this, there's another one, but I don't think this is a luxury bag. I don't want it too small. I think this size is a perfect size. That's pretty much everything, like my Christmas wish list. Just looking back at my Pinterest board. So I hope you like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.